went to Sunday. So there was nothing that built it up. So Steve Hansen started Festival Jam, which was on Thursday, mm-hmm. to get everybody to be excited about it and build it up. And then nobody goes the rest of the week. And nobody goes the rest of the week. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> but pretty that's much. what it turned into. Was Festival Jam was the coolest night, and it still is very much the coolest night. And it's still, it still ends at a decent time of night, oh, too, yeah. even I mean, if you had to work the next day. It, it's like over, it like, what? It goes to, like, 11. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but there's also, like, 13 different bands that play. 16 this 16 year. This, oh, 16 this year? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and they usually are on. pretty diverse on what they play. Um, we'll be out and about... Um, Signing autographs. Signing autographs. Shaking titties. Shaking, shaking babies. <laughs> I've, I've been for I'll years. sign each one, too. I'll <laughs> sign twice. Thursday night for years, and the only people I really remember is Jacuzzi. Yeah, Jacuzzi's usually... For all them fucking well, nights. And, like, I know that this is this is a big thing for me. So we had... They played uh, all original music. They did, And yeah. rocked it. And they always do. Uh, but there's usually one hair band that gets up there that plays every year, and I don't know who they are. Uh, but we've had bands I'm like... Um. Uh, what are they? Eminent Domain used to play back in the day. Um, always liked them. Uh, Cash get main stage. Cash Hollister gets on there every once in a while, Jacob. Um, depending on who he is. Doesn't uh, uh the Inklings have been on there before? Because the first year that they did it, Dylan wore his chef coat, which he was like, <laughs> nobody wears a chef coat, and I was like, Bootleg Mercy, why? Do it? <laughs> Bootleg Mercy, I think yeah. does every once in a while. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's 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 usually a little different, but it's always it's a cool. You pay ten bucks for for a button unless you go the day of, and you get to go hang out in the park, drink beer, which you don't always get to do at the park because they get a little fucking antsy about that, and you get to go have fried shit, which is mm-hmm. really all that anybody ever gives a fuck about. Yeah, fried it's, gator. Except you got to take out a small freaking load. Small load to have it all. But yeah. hey, that's part of life. Jason, did you start the timer? So, what's up? Um, what is it? Is it Tim? I want to hear more about Jim. Jim, tell us about yourself. What Ooh. are things you like? Ooh, what do you want to know, Jason? You like? Huh? Do you want to know my my shoe size? Wait, whoa, whoa. My what's waist your, size? What's your zodiac what you sign? What's your mother's maiden name? The last four digits of your social security number? The street you lived on as a child? And your first pet's name? How about go so find yourself? You. Those are all security <laughs> questions. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? What are you? What well, I feel like you're coming on to me are right now. Are you cancer? Too. Can we connect? <laughs> Can we connect? <laughs> are we going? Oh, Astro glide right oh. now? Apparently oh, so. <laughs> you know, apparently Nate's still like getting a hold of me for like his plans for his portable glory hole. Whoa, you know, whoa, 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 whoa! So funniest part about tonight <laughs> was. Jason sends a text in our group chat that goes, can we just have a portable glory hole right up <laughs> as Tate's face for the entire episode? Kind of, who was it that you were talking about? Oh, no, it wasn't for the entire episode. It was just any time somebody mentioned the glory hole, I want to be able to throw, like, a cardboard box or, like, bathroom door wall over Tate's face, and then it'll look like the hamsters or the gerbils or whatever the fuck they were from the other circles. <laughs> Or it's just the mouth moving. We need, to, we need to make it like the Snapchat filters with like the goat, where you just like your face gets turned into the animal, but you can see your lips moving with it. My goodness. Just like that. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, you just not. That was my first drink. This one's a. Uh, this one's yeah. a surprise. Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah. It's it's, it's, it's so little little. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, we got we got seven minutes, man. Just keep that under wraps. We're good. Sorry, that's like a. What? Jason, what else would you like to know? Why don't you ask I, I said I want to know your fucking zodiac sign. Would you not know, like or the what the new fuck? Hobbies, <laughs> career goals, life it's goals. So angry. Uh, what's your birthday? Now we can't hear Jason's question. <laughs> Nobody cares about Jason. Like, <laughs> it's like every <laughs> time uh, Jason gets <laughs> fucked in the asshole. Oh, I can't with turn my ass out. Really. He's used to it. God damn it. Jason, you're a good person, man. Don't let this fucker do anything. Okay? Don't let him do anything to Jason. Let him do anything. Everybody already does it to him. I'm a fucking Sagittarius if you really want a goddamn no, Tate. Oh, okay? What does that mean? Fucking Hayukin, motherfucker. Wait, wait, what's your Chinese, uh, are you a snake? Are you a fucking dragon, bitch? You're a dragon? What is going on right now? I don't know. 
All of a sudden, he's coming at him with his Mortal Kombat shit. Mortal Kombat shit. shit. <laughs> oh, the new Mortal Kombat movie? Have you guys seen the trailers for that shit? I have not. Dude, dude, have you seen the new trailer for the new Avengers video game? No. It just dropped today. The the E3 one? I was like, yes. eh, I'm not interested. Crystal in Dynamics? Yeah. Ooh, speaking of E3, oh. we were watching the uh, Keanu Reeves. Oh, the Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Yes, 2077. Yeah. It looks pretty dope. Chris was a little thrown off. He thought it was going to be a little different. A little bit. A little bit. Like a 2077 Grand Theft Auto, but it's not. Yeah. It pretty. looks it looks really good. Uh, I'm excited about that. Breath of the Wild 2 for 2021? Yes. Eh. Looking forward to that. I hope it's good, but we'll see. I don't know, uh, man. Banjo Kazooie's gonna be in Smash. Yeah, dude, yeah. that shit fucked me up. I thought it was gonna be Banjo Kazooie three. Yeah. <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> I can see how that would mess like, you up. Like hella pissed. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Banjo Kazooie silhouette, and then they're like, time Smash Bros. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie was might have been one of the all time greatest video games I have ever played in my life. Dude, dude it was good. I fucking love that shit. I think I played it through shit. twice. And then what was it, Banjo Tooie Racing or something like that? Yeah, oh Banjo-Tooie. no, there was Banjo Tooie, and then they had uh, Banjo on Xbox 360, which was you, like you built your own spaceships and cars and shit. Mm. Yeah, I fucking loved that game. Thanks for the like, Nikki. Played it way more than I probably should have as a child. Fucking Nikki, she she works at Sam's Club. She's one of a friend of mine. Oh, oh yeah, really? I know her. Put 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 my name out there, man. You'd be surprised how many people still love. She's one of my oh, friends yeah. at Sam's Club. Old, her son used to work for me. Yep, pretty much. I mean, there's literally nowhere in town <laughs> that I can go that not I so not <laughs> run into somebody. Okay, it's like I'm training a new guy this week, and he's he lives all the way in goddamn Clay Center for oh, Jesus. So he makes that drive. Day? Every day Fuck to that. Salina, and I'd rather not have a job. Right, and well, apparently he came from Solomon Court before mm-hmm. here. Oh, so it's uh, like kind of used to the drive, but not. You know, he's a younger yeah. guy. I mean, he has to drive. It's an hour, uh, isn't it? Huh? It's an hour drive. Yeah, yeah. to Clay. Yeah, Clay's it's about there. Because you know that stupid jaunt that they have going. You can't up just there. have a straight line. Yeah, stupid, stupid lines, and uh, so. He was all like, all today while I was training this afternoon and stuff. He's like, Jesus Christ, is there anybody that you don't know? I was like, places I don't even go to. Welcome to my you life. Know? I was like, yeah, I know her, I know her, I know her, I know her. And it's like 90% of my friends are females. My bad. Mm. Can't help it. It's my job. Banks, businesses, yep. you know. And then the funniest part of my day was the fact that when we went into Victoria's Secret, because we pick up there too, <laughs> right? Which is epic. always good time, right? Hell yeah. And I always enjoy my specialists. They, like they don't the hire. Smell. They don't hire ugly fat chicks. Okay. <laughs> um, I was just gonna put that out there. I might get fucking like roasted on this shit. That's Twitter is blowing boy. up right True. now. Yeah. With your <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, so we're no. back there, and Kelly's working. She's one of the assistant managers there. And she's helping him, and she's dealt with him on the weekend crew for Saturdays, you know, because he's been working Saturdays only. Yeah. And uh, he's in there, and all of a sudden, he just loses his shit. She just, like, starts handing him shit, and he's like, oh, yes, I'll take whatever you give me, and everything else, like, hands him the consignment log and stuff that we have to sign for them. He, like, signed for shit that he hadn't even picked up yet. He's like, and I know I was it. like... He lost his load. He blew yep. his load. He I blew was his like, load. Somebody's got a crush. That's all I could think of. Somebody's oh, a beautiful a girl. Oh, no. They worked him over. Dude. You didn't even see him coming. Oh, God. But that's part of the delivery life business. Like, we have a guy who comes up, and he uh, he does our produce. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We went from Victoria's Secret to a guy that delivers. Well, no, but this will be funny <laughs> because it, it, play, it ties into the story. And, like, does it? he hasn't seen me for a while, so I open the door, and he's like, what happened to that tall drink of water that worked here? And I was like, what the 
fuck the are hell? you talking about? And oh, like this is water. this is like a, a like <laughs> this dude's like fifty two years old. He lives in KC, <laughs> like, and he doesn't. We see him every once in a while. He doesn't come like every because we get three deliveries a week. And he sits there and he's like, "Oh man, like Nate, I'm not mad to see you, but like, what happened to my girl? She's tall, drink of water." And I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I'm so glad you went to a female person. This is weird. <laughs> no, but that's how this shit works. Like, delivery people. No offense, but some whatever. People there are, was a little in there. Some people are fucking weird as shit. Like our one Lafredo guy is this big, fat white guy. So no, he's the same guy that delivers to Olive Garden. Fuck. Yeah, and that yeah. guy is disgusting. That guy's a bag of shit. Oh, yeah. And all he, <laughs> does, all he does is sit there and go, Oh my god, did you see that girl? She bent over and her ass was sticking out. And you're like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Sounds like every guy in my facility. Like, ever. Just, <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, man, I went down to this place. Your friends with such and such. Oh, man, did you see these on them? And I'm like, <laughs> bro, you can't say that. Oh, fucking it. He's like, who's gonna fire me? I work out of Wichita. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, are we? Oh, what, it's what the hell's the timer, timer man? Two. It goes by here now. Two. Yeah, it's okay. Jesus Christ, time goes quick. We... Um, Who's make was this? I have this was fucking no idea. Stop, 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 shall we? The very first night that I worked there, a woman came into the uh, the Pizza Hut takeaway, which was mini personal pans, and she said. Hey, if you bring this home for me, I'll take you home with me. And then she pissed herself in the lobby. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That's fucking epic. That's an epic story right there. That's a uh... hello, Shelby. By the way, <laughs> that's kind of different. <laughs> Try working at a truck stop. Yeah, she knows. She fucking knows. Christopher's dad said he would eat the peanut out of a girl's poo once. <laughs> what? what? Oh he just God. He already just got off. <laughs> God, God, Julie. What the hell? Wait, is peanut no. worse than corn? Uh, Randy, I don't you know. Dirty but son of a gun. The bad like, thing I'm is. Right back no, he liked it too. I thought that was him. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that was at Twin Peaks in which. <laughs> I remember the trucker couple that broke the bench in the shower. <laughs> so, oh Julie said that about uh, what your dad said. I We went to Taco Bell one evening, and they fucked up on our order. And I went back, and it was apparently after they closed the lobby. Yep. Uh, but they didn't lock the doors. So I come in the front door, and a guy's standing right behind the counter, and he's like, that bitch is so hot, I need to do this with my asshole. And I was like... What the fuck just happened? <laughs> and so he hooked me up with all of the leftover potatoes. Like the potato, they're not Olay's, whatever they fucking have there. They have potato their, Olay's. Potatoes in a huge bowl. And he's like, just, just don't tell anybody we did this. And now I'm telling everybody. So you're all welcome. Don't tell anybody I did this. Don't tell the <laughs> world. <laughs> this just happened. I'm sorry, Jason. Right when you were saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julie! I thought Julie says the story. And Randy just says, "Yep." <laughs> no shame. Like no shame Julie, at all. Just yep. That's yep, me. That shit happened. What's up? Julie's like, I don't ever want to pick your dad. You don't know him. He knows who he is. You can appreciate. Wait, that. but my question is: Is do peanuts? Uh, peanuts don't just stand out in the poo. Not like oh, corn. No, I think you said corn. Like, I like the corn out of her poo. Oh, uh, yeah, because <laughs> corn clearly stands out. I mean, if, if he wanted to be romantic. It doesn't matter maybe, what the fuck it was. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he would have been like, Here we go. I'll drink another bath Which one sticks out more? <laughs> I live Here's visually. Why are, why are poles always shit related? Which one sticks out more? Corn or oh peanuts? Peanuts you chew up. <laughs> And, and you can chew them up. It's actually yeah. only the shell on the outside. It is. The it's always only the shell. Shit, but the shell is what actually you shit out. So just just so you know. Today you got Shelby, one. technically only the corn shell. How how Shelby? That's how closely? Sh how closely have that you inspected like that piece shit of corn? Are you, know? are you oh. shitting me? Hey, I live with this woman. Okay, <laughs> it's there. It's, it's there. prominent. Hey, okay. Jerry Blair's on. 
Welcome, Jeremy. What's up, Blair? So, this beer. This beer. <laughs> this right does not here. have shit or corn or peanuts in it. No, it does not. It should. <laughs> it is very sour, though. Yes, it is. Woo! So, if you do not like sour shit like Warheads or anything of that nature, do not buy this beer. I, on the other hand, love sour shit. This is right up my alley. <clears throat> the more it makes my jaw and mouth pucker, the better. Um, What's it called? It's like gas pockets in your jaw. Yeah. What's Astringent? Called? Astringent. Astringent. There we go. Yeah. It's like I knew Tate knew it. It's yeah, how he does. Very drinkable, very crispy, um, very sour. It's delicious. I, I, get, I give it an 8.5. It's a, a sour German style wheat ale brewed with lemon. I do not get any like wheat hint to it though. I just get sour lemon. I beer. agree with that. And what'd you give it? Eight five. Eight five. I'll, I'll buy it again for okay. sure. Uh, I'm gonna go next because uh, I just do what I want. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so until the wife comes home. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Fact. Uh, and then the wife comes home and he's like, "What would you like me to do?" <laughs> Would you like me to feather your pillows, lady? My, my what big, can I make for you? My biggest complaint about this beer is from a perspective of heartburn. Uh, like I could see that. Uh, I drink Citrusy. this and like I just get this. Like as I drink it, I get this kind well, of acidic. You know, it's very acidic, and I could see somebody that. I mean, I used to have more problems with heartburn than I do now. No. Nah. But uh, I, uh, man, this one. I can see this causing some some issues. Uh, just the lemon and the sour and all that going on. Uh, it's potent. Uh, as far I mean, not not from an alcoholic standpoint, but from the the sour Taste. standpoint. Yeah. Uh, that's a it's a pucker. It's a, a oh yeah. I don't even. I, I'm trying to come up with a good phrase, but fuck it, whatever. Uh, it's definitely an apple pucker, if anything else. I think. I'll give this a six. I don't six. see. I don't really see this as being my style of beer to buy again. What did Chris give it? An eight, eight, five. eight five. Eight five. Uh, yeah. He, 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 he really likes sour, sour shit. He is a big sour fan. Uh, I just don't. I don't see myself buying this again because, like, I, I, it just hits me a little, little, little off. So, that's how I feel about margaritas. The heartburn. The heartburn. Yeah. Because I can only have like one margarita. Like we. Um, hadn't drank very much the other night and we went to Chili's and I tried their newest margarita um, and <laughs> I'm done bro you go ahead and say what you gotta oh, say Jesus. I hate life hey hey, Jason go ahead and do your review while ahead, Nate's Jason. fucking go shit ahead. up I missed that somebody said something oh that's fine else. I said go ahead and do your review cause Nate's fucking shit up over here. I'm so not Tate's. Uh, the batch that I got must be different than the batch that Chris got. Mine isn't super sour at all. I don't get that feeling in my jaws. Um, it's got a it's got a hint of lemon up the front, but it's not heavy in lemon. And then all I get in the back is wheat. I mean, it tastes like a very mildly lemony wheat. I'm not getting anything else from this. Like it. I, I mean, I drank the second one just to make sure, like, <laughs> what am I missing here? Or maybe I, the old beer is kind of washing this one out. It's it's not doing it for me. That is so, weird. So, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an absolute fan of it. I like that there's lemon. I like that it's wheat and it's not, like, a Belgian wheat. Uh, so that's decent. But, I don't know. This isn't, this isn't my favorite that we've had, and... I don't know that I'd buy it again, so I'm going to give it a six. Fair enough. So I look like Beverly Hills Ninja, so that's Chris Farley, right? That's so fucking Chris. Fat. Apparently no. they called you fat as Chris well. Farley with the, <laughs> the dragon stance. Dude, did you see that guy? He melted oh in Beverly Hills Ninja. God. All right, it's yours. <laughs> if, if, What's if, mine? It's my yours. comparison to Chris Farley, that's only a compliment. I love that. Um... Since this is the only one I think I've drank. Yes, we're drinking this one. Um, Way behind. Uh, on purpose. I'm not going to lie. Holy shit. Like, super... 
fucking sour. Like, that's <laughs> what my taste buds are telling me. Like, I get chipped. Why did you just you put that Jason. in my mouth? Um, that's what she said. I hope she said that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hopefully yeah. willing. Anyway. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, it's very, very tart, if anything else. Tart would be the most uh, yeah. PG word I could use to describe it. Um... Oh, damn, this fucking Lots of damn, doing this fucking sauce. I, I agree with Chris. There's not a whole lot of wheat taste to it. There's really not. You know, I'm not a big guy, a fan of like trying different things, but this has been an experience and I love it. But uh, <laughs> I, I, know, I, I do. I love it. It's pretty good. Um, it's it's kind of growing on me. You know, you even after that. just one, yeah. after well, after the other mango. You know, you know what to say. It like opened the palate. You gotta so drink, to speak. you know, a quarter of a beer or so to. Say, oh, there's like not much left. Bro. They say you have to drink but, uh, at least three drinks of a beer before you can. Um, like seriously, the can's almost empty. Uh, <laughs> so we're good there. Okay, I don't need uh, a wine lesson from you, Mister Big Shot of Long. <laughs> okay. Oh, what would you, what wine would you like with your steak? Would you like carry on? <laughs> I would know. Would you rapper. like your pinky out while you drink it? Because I will hold it for you. We're not that anyway. fancy. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. for right here, homie. Yeah. 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 Next anyway, up, next up's the country club. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean it, it's you know I, I I think me and Jason are kind of on the point with uh, our our taste for beers, I guess. Um, as I've been watching for, you know, a while now on your podcast and whatnot and become a big fan and appreciate you guys having me on the show because yeah. that was like, <laughs> cheers. That was, that was, that was, uh, fuck yeah. I love it. So, um, no, I'll probably give it, I'll probably give it a solid six. You know, the more I drink of it, the more I want to drink it some more. So. It wouldn't be something I'd go out and buy like usual, but... But you're not turning it down. I'm not turning it down, because I told you guys, if it's free and cold, <laughs> I'm here. So... <laughs> ah, so at least... Next you get that, so, wait till you get that peach sweet water. You'll, you go, you'll be a convert. Hey, oh, Jason. Oh, yeah, you haven't had the peach sweet hey, water? Jason, go fuck yourself right now. Ooh. That's the next one we're drinking. <laughs> peach sweet water. Ooh. I can't believe you... You must have got a bad batch, Jason. It, it really is. I mean, it's not sour at all. Like, I can't feel it's that at all. It's very tart. Man, it's I was going to say, like, as shit. soon as you drink it, it's like, like sweet no. tart on Bam. steroids. Mine like, tastes like a watered-down Boulevard wheat with a hint of lemon. What okay. is well, logic? The, the more I drink of it, the more I drink of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're not wrong. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. Uh, so I guess that leaves me. Uh, that first, so this sends me back to a story that I can tell you guys. Of is it all about how your life got flipped, turned upside down? No, not quite. But I like to sit there. <laughs> but it actually has to do with Jason, um, because. Oh, nope, I was gonna pee, but now I gotta. Yeah, I know. No, <laughs> because one day when Jason was still here, we sat there and we were leaving the liquor store. And we were talking about, I don't remember specifically, but I'm pretty sure you said you were going to make an IPA that was oh. just all lemons. I had that IPA a couple weeks ago, by the way. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Did you like it? Uh, it was incredible. Okay. It is from Bend River Brewing. Uh, it was fucking phenomenal. So. I called my wife to tell her how good this IPA was. <laughs> <laughs> so when I when we bought this beer, the first thing I thought of was Jason. This is Jason to a fucking T. Yeah, and then I because it has the big lemon. Like, that's not very good. And Jason says right away, like that's not a very good beer. And I'm like, oh fuck. That's why I always buy it, no matter what the fuck somebody says. <laughs> so I, I'm glad you did, and it must be maybe it's distribution route, maybe it's God, distance yeah. travel. Maybe it's just that the liquor store that I go to has carried for a long time, and it's old. No, no. Because, like, right when I took a drink of this, I was like, 
This is the lemon that Jason <laughs> has been searching for. <laughs> I wish it had more lemons. Oh my right? god! I wish it had more lemons. That's that's oh Jason to a fucking T. Is <laughs> I wish that we could just get more lemon out of this beer. I'm gonna try and it's save you one. Maybe you want to send one of those with Sarah. All right, yeah, she's going. Yeah, like she's going up this weekend, well, right? Well, well, like, like, serious, Jason. Let's I just opened this, this brand response. new can, right? <laughs> I took one swig of this, and all these fuckers hey, are laughing at me anyway, which is fine. But it's like so tart and so lemon, but it is. That it put me to the back of the couch of fuck that. It's tart like as a shit. lemon fucking lemon kicked you in the mouth. And so Wait. this is exactly what I mean, like. I thought first thing was Jason. This is not an IPA, but this is your lemon beer, and this is the one that you were looking for. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. And, yeah, I will it is. It is. That. It's like a, it's like a lemon drop without the sugar on the after end. Um, yeah. but like, this thing is the dream. What's up, sweet? Uh, this thing is delicious. Like, it goes straight sour drop lemon, as said, uh, and then just kind of mellows out. Like, there's no. After every drink, there, there's just like no aftertaste that's very bad or anything like that. It's like straight kick you in the mouth and then it's like gone. Yeah, um, oh, it lingers there for a minute if you're not like drinking and drinking. There's 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 a tad bit, but it's not like anything bad that you would be mad about tasting. So you get that initial warhead kick, you just don't get the after flavor as much. Mm -hmm. But it's very mellow. It tastes good. It's not like you're. I mean, if you just. Like Breathe your taste your buds are yeah. gonna fall out of your face. Like no, you're fine on it. So it's a very good beer. When life gives you lemon beer, fuck Tate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like this would be the epitome of a warhead right here. Uh, that's a good analogy. That's that's what I've like. The lemon warheads is exactly what this beer is, and I love those. Like <laughs> this this is when your warheads this came is your out stick. and they had the lemon ones. I was like, fuck yeah, let's do this. But my dad is a huge lemon fan. Like, he'll eat lemons, just straight lemons. So it's probably in my, my genome or whatever. Your DNA. My DNA. Lemon DNA. So, like yeah, I really DNA. like this beer. I would buy it again. I would take it if someone gave it to me. And I, I mean, I wouldn't buy it every week. But I would go in the summertime. I would drink this at River Festival. Because this would feel refreshing. Be refreshing. Yeah, this would be refreshing to me because it's that lemon. Like, you sure you want one of my beers, fucker? And yeah, it's so, <laughs> someone's like, go fuck the Somebody fuck off. Yeah. 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 Take a sip first. Yeah. You might want to try this first. Are you sure this is what you decided you wanted? It's a little too Oh, yeah. It's. Yeah. Here, give me this one. Is this the lemon? Uh, but yeah, I give it an eight. I have no problem with it. I really fucking Holy like this beer. Eight. I like the last one better, eight. but I, I like this one too. Hi. Hi. Yes. One, this I one love that I took a look at Grab yes. Beer, came back, he still hadn't given it a score. Yeah, but see, I like pale ales better. Pale ales are my shit. You oh, are the sour, you. you're the sour sure, guy. Yep. But that question is, what's the next beer? Uh, Sarah's trying it right now, Jason. Jesus. Is that the two we're trying tonight? <laughs> That's the two. Well, she That's also two? remembers the last time we tried it, too. Say what? Because she's the one who bought it last. Oh, no. You don't get to drink your own you beer yet. Oh, what do you yeah. got in there? Oh. What's that one up there? Oh, it's the one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hey. Everybody uh, needs to, like, finish their deals so we can uh, do a small will taste. Will you bring us we'll do a small, small review glasses. on something? Yeah, of course I'm We appreciate you that is so true. much. That oh, is true. Yeah. You have. Yeah. That's fine. I can. I can chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> I will bring three small glasses. Ooh, that's Sarah, fine. Uh, Shelby said Sarah, Sarah likes it. Julie, Julie did not. Sarah Julie Sarah did like not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Julie's face was Shelby like. Shelby doesn't drink, so we're good. It's probably a twist top. Nope, sure is yeah. definitely not a twist. Oh, uh, so, so I can, uh, I can that. It's tough to chug though. This, yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's the, it's like, uh, it, it, it's the the the, tip, the, the reflex of like the the acid reflex that Sourous. about this beer that uh, that gives me some hesitation. But I mean, so far I've had a couple and I'm, it's not hurting me any. So who knows? Yeah. So James 
Good boy. Go so, ahead and explain. Friend, friend of mine, uh, friend of mine and my girlfriends uh, came down. They've been friends for a long time. They used to work at uh, Big Sky Resort. And uh, so when he came by and spent the night with us and everything, he brought this uh, Salmon Fly Honey Rye. And it's out of Madison River Brewing Company in Montana. Let's see. Right. I, can, I think we're good. Where's Walk up. There's one right there on top of that right TV. There. Yeah. Oh, go back this way. Sure you there go. we go. <clears throat> so uh, he he let me have a have one, and uh, I thought it was actually pretty good. And then I started being brew bros on it, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he has a hint of this, it has a hint of that, you know. It was like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I went to beer college. Just took <laughs> over. <laughs> you became someone yet? Yeah. And I was like, I was like. Oh well, this this has a distinct taste of this and whatever, <laughs> blah blah blah. Now you know. Where I was lives. like, you know what? I don't even know who I am right now, but it's fine. <laughs> so we're gonna. I'll try to give you guys a taste, <laughs> at least a decent taste. I was gonna say, let's break it up to three. Also, Ooh. Tate, it's funny. a cicerone, you piece of shit. A cicerone. So Sommelier would be for wine. Uh, who knows how good my pouring <laughs> is with this shit? Cicerone. You know what? Oh, that's a pretty close. Yeah, fuck it. It's whatever. Halls, skinnies. Right. Yeah. Yours is right there. That's you right. you guys have a, a taste of that. Uh, apparently, I gave more to somebody else. Here, you know what? There you go, Chris. Here. You're the host, man. I'm good. I've had oh, it you've before. Had okay. So, you guys enjoy that. Do you remember it to review it? Yes, I do, actually. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> because you know what I can do is this. Put your tongue in it. Put your tongue in it. You tongue in it. <laughs> you start. It's yeah. out of control. So, that's and, and thank you. Oh, yes, no, thanks. no problem. Uh, it's it's a it's very a pale ale is what I would give it. It's a little cumbersome, a little uh, you know slimline, and then you get a little taste of the wheat, and then you get a little taste of the honey. The more you drink of it, but. It's actually pretty solid. I would actually give this like a nine on my scale. Oh, wow. Like if wow. this was like available around here, I would like buy it, especially on like paydays or whatnot, like a couple cases. Um, I thought it was very refreshing um, and something I haven't had with like a honey in a beer. And rye. And so, yeah, yeah, with the rye. Um, it just... I don't know, is, it kind of speaks to me a little bit. The rye is a big characteristic, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you get those undertones of honey. Go ahead, Tate. I'm, I'm reading and thinking. <laughs> well, read to the people and think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's going to uh, take forever, then. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, does not I was diagnosed as a think. child. He said yeah. cumbersome does <laughs> not mean what you think it means, Tate. Oh, Tate, hey. Hit him with the Tate, hey. Hit him with the Tate, hey. Fucking beer college. <laughs> the annual salmon fly hatch occurs in early summer uh, on the Madison River. In recognition, Madison River Brewing Company presents salmon fly honey rye. Uh, the malted barley used uh, in this unique brew is complemented by the subtle spiciness of rye. Uh, <clears throat> bittering and flavor hop additions balance the sweetness from the hints of pure Montana honey to complete a delightful drinking experience. Salmon fly, tie one on today. That's what Andrew hey, you ever, like you aren't basically retarded. Good for you. I've, I've gotten better. <laughs> no, I think I think it's a solid beer. I do. I don't see an ABV. No ABV. No, I don't see one. Oh shit! Not on the bottle. So what? What are you looking for? And like a, an alcohol rating? No, I just want to see. It doesn't look like it's there. But five five. Call it five five. It's a good taste, maybe. That's all I knew. I wonder if I'll be sick to work tomorrow. That's it, isn't it? Well, you know this Montana guy. Yeah, it's five point six. Five point six ABV. So yeah. 23 IBU serving temperature yeah, 42 not, to 47 percent. It's not really bitter oh, 42 at all. 42 to 47 degrees. It's, it's I think it's smooth as hell for my taste. But what's up, Cook? What up, Cook? 
So, would you give it Tate? I don't know, rated it yet. Mm -mm. He's been talking about it. I'm the only one that rated it so far. Sorry, Jason, you can't participate, man. My bad. This right, is, I uh, participate in a lot of shit. I would agree that this is good. Uh, it's 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 not bitter at Jesus, all. I mean, like the, the honey and the rye are, are really like four Very flavors and smooth. It's good. I would. I mean, I want to. I want to drink more. I, I wish we had more than one beer. Yeah, I wish I did too. It was like a tasting, man. I was like, Rated. I wasn't gonna put the guy out on like his whole twelve pack, you know. So. Oh shit! Blight's got to put in the uh, dictionary today. Yeah, and Webster. You know that? Yeah, I sent it in the fucking group chat. Oh shit! Was that you? Yeah, dick. <laughs> It is a sweet beer, <laughs> but it's stolen by Jason. I hate you so much right now, Jason. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, shit, you did. I'll give uh, this a... Uh, hophead and flights. Oh, hophead okay. and flights. I, I said happy hop day, <laughs> Hophead's day, motherfucker. <laughs> Twisted sister. What are you rating it, T? I'll give this an eight. This is good. It's, it's, it's very different, too. This is not a... Yeah. Uh, it's sweeter. Uh, it's just super easy to drink, mm -hmm. and it's got good flavor. I'm gonna have to get a hold of Jay and see if he can't maybe send some down to us. Tell him we'll pay him to send it to us. Oh yeah. Mm. What do you say, Chris? I think this is delicious. It's way different. It's almost like carving its own lane. I, I've never had a beer that tastes like this. It's. I love honey. It doesn't taste overly like honey. It's a little watered down. I don't know about rye being a flavor very much. I don't eat a lot of rye bread or know that taste, but it doesn't bother me in this. Um, I want I want this a little colder, I think, but the temperature that we're drinking in that does it well. Um, 42 to 47. Yeah. It's been, my, it's been my cooler over here, so, you know, kept it cool as much as I could. Right out of the fridge. This is true. I want more. I should have put it right there. Yeah. It, it surprises know? me that it's only like five, six, or whatever the fuck it was, ABV. Mm -hmm. It feels like it should be a little stronger as far as like the. There's a little bit of aggressive taste there. Mm -hmm. And I think that might be the rye. Um, I don't mind it. I, it's like a, a good sipping beer. I'd rather have it probably during the fall or winter, mm -hmm. like by the fire or mm -hmm. some shit. Um, it's easily a 7.5, if not 8. Nice. Somewhere in there. I, I want more. Still. <laughs> I know. It's but, such a fucking tease. I know. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm, I'm like, saving it a little bit, like, sipping it, just to, like, take it in, instead of just going down and going, I don't remember what it tastes like. Yeah. It, it's good. It's not th bad. Th th thank you. No, no problem, man. <laughs> so, the honey is very prevalent. Like, that's one of the first things that I tasted when I, I drank it was the honey. Um, and I know rye bread is uh, a very different flavor just from my time working at uh, McAllister's. By the way, speaking of B movie. It's almost pickly. How terrible did that boyfriend feel? <laughs> Never seen it. Um, but. <laughs> Yeah, like, I've had rye bread just from, and it usually goes with, like, a Reuben. So, it has that, you get, and you said pickly. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I can definitely feel the rye taste. It's very, like, it all moves together very well. Like, sometimes you'll have a beer where, like, a raspberry wheat with, it will have like a very big raspberry flavor and then it will have that very beet flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this all just kind of goes together. Blends well. Blends yeah, very it's well. very smooth with everything that's in it. Um, I would definitely drink this again. I don't know who makes it. Your friend is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, send us some. MadisonRiverBrewing.com Please watch I'll, us. I'm giving it a 9. I'll, I'll have Shelby send you a Message when he gets back to Montana. Yeah, uh, the bread was only made for rubies, exactly. Yeah, the I label is yeah. smooth as shit. It's not yeah. some cheap. Yeah, yeah, no, they it's like, it's like all, legit all stuff. Well I haven't had a bad beer from Montana, Montana yet. 
Yeah, no, Montana does their beer well because they know what to do. They're, they're all fucking stoners. Salmon Slayer! <laughs> they're they're all, all fucking stoners. You say all Montanans yeah, are stoners? Mon- Montanians. It's got a lure on the fucking. We know. Fucking ski, ski and shit. Get it. Come on. Get it. Get it. You know, Breaking in the hibiscus? It's very. Uh, Open them up. It's pretty good. It's like a home style beer. Yeah. yeah. We had a couple. Uh, yep. I cooked steaks that night. And uh, we had a couple there, and he had one. And uh, it was. Uh, it was. Fun fact. Really good, even paired with like a steak dinner. Mm-hmm. It was like very well. I mean, he even complimented it more for a beer. You know, yeah, and it was like he was like, you know, that's the only that's the only beer he drinks, and he's not a big beer drinker, period. You know, whether it be the it's a good uh, one to... normal brands, Miller Bud, you know, whoever, it's like that's the only thing he drinks as so, far as a beer goes. So. so Gavin said, "Cook." Fun fact: Rye bread was made by Reuben Rye. Cook said, "Their beer is good, but the women there are bitches." And oh. Gavin said, where? So I'm guessing yeah. he means... Montana? Montana? Uh, rye was made in Asia. Bingo. Here comes Ooh. Jason with his random, I, I know more than you know facts. Fun fact, rye the universe was Asia. created by a Christian god. Montana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the hell is this? Is this a hibiscus? Hibiscus. So goes. this, this I had. You guys first. are like trying to kill me. So tonight, we've done this. So. We've done this on the show before. This was I didn't Jason's see, pick. I didn't see this yeah, episode. T- take a look at the label and tell me that was not. Jason's oh, as soon as it said because hibiscus, it says pink, I just assumed it was Jason. Yeah, pink and turquoise. Oh. What a what a oh. more Jason oh. color combination. I don't know. I was thinking either him or you, but that's beside the point. So, but like, oh. Side note, no, we're gonna you're tangy. Thing. So we, it's the uh, Ooh, mango lime. Mango lime pilsner. Uh, Uita pilsner. So it's the same lime one that we had, but with mango. Nice. We should invite Eric back for that. <laughs> yep. Tom Maxwell. Oh That's my God. God. Hell yeah. So this one has been done before. I actually asked this last week. I was like, I just had this one for the first time. I fucking love this shit. Good beer. Hibiscus Goza? Yeah. Very good. Oh, Oh, wow. Much lighter tartness than the other one. Much different than the one you just had. Much lighter. Much lighter. Much lighter. Say what? I said, if I remember that one right, it had a little bit of a dry finish, though, because of that hibiscus. Yes. Yes. I will... I will concur with what that. What is hibiscus? Hibiscus? Uh, hibiscus? Hibiscus. It, I just say hibiscus. Hibiscus? It's a, it's a dehydrating type of plant, if I'm correct. Uh, Jason, uh, hibiscus. we know you know. Hibiscus. What's hibiscus? The Bible is written by humans. Opossum. Hibiscus. Taint as a possum. Thanks for the like, Tom. Oh, shit. Uh, it is. <laughs> so it's kind of a flower, but it's also kind of an herb. It's used to make teas and things like that. Wait, did you just pronounce the H in herb? Herb. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Weren't you guys roommates in college? It's herb. You gotta get some good herb. How have you guys never fought over herb and herb before? H makes a H sound. Herb. Let's get some good herbs. Aluminium. Get, you can get an echo. There's only one good hey, aluminium. Chewy. Chewy. There's only one good herb that I know of. <laughs> aluminium. God damn it. Watch Top Gear. Shit. <laughs> it's not a stick shift. It's a uh, lever. Jason, come up with a would you rather for uh, James. Would you rather? Oh, shit. Wait, wait, what, 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 what's this? <laughs> Look at you fucking paramount. <laughs> Would you rather for James? Come up with one. Oh, man, I have no fucking clue. Yeah, you're welcome. Hard. Not yet. Mm, would you rather 
Super fun drink fact. Drink with us on the show again or make fun of us from afar again? I would rather do the show, <laughs> to be honest. Sweet. The show is a lot of fun. <laughs> the huh? show is fucking awesome. I'm not going to lie. So, I, I was super, super fucking nervous about it for a while. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Because I was like, <coughs> we finally talked to you. you know, it. It, no, it wasn't that. I volunteered the shit out of myself on that one. But it was, uh, it was, uh, I was going back and forth in my head and shit. What am I going to uh, say? What I was like, doing? oh, am I going to be this little girly man who just sits in the corner? How do I explain know? what I'm going to do? It was like, drink. all of a sudden, am I going to just, like, crack some stupid ass jokes and call it a fucking day? You just be like, flow. Done so much time about. <laughs> You know, so I don't fucking know. I'm sorry. I don't know. I, not so, to not to over no, it's step fine. what say, but the conversation that being had right now is hilarious. I don't know. I'm missing said, it. Fun fact: something about Plan B, and he goes, "What's Plan A? Having babies?" Josh goes, "Abstinence is boring." And then <laughs> so Shelby said, mom. "So is your mom." And Juice said, "Would you rather compliment Tate or eat toenails?" And David goes, <laughs> boom! <laughs> Toenails all day. Plan is fuck. plan is the risk it method, where you don't mention anything and pretend the child isn't yours. David says, "Whose toenails? My own. Mine. That you. makes a big difference. <laughs> Whose toenails makes a big you. difference?" David said, "His own." You. Jason's. Hello, toenails? Charles Winters. Anybody thinking about the potential <laughs> you know what? Jason's you know what? Okay, you know what? Okay, I'll, I'll put the toenails. toenail thing to rest. What's if it about? is Kate Beckinsale, I did the lay out. Give your Halle Berry a race. Right. Or what about just like average yeah, toenail. You know, yeah. I mean, we're talking like hot chips. No, no, no. I'll probably drink their no, bath water. Eat Jason toenails. Uh, oh God. <laughs> what? Dude, I take really fucking good care of my feet. What is going on right now? Give me a raise, Charlie, motherfucker. I designed the shit in like an hour. Boom, Charles, he needs a raise. Pay that man. We got a Patreon, by the way. Patreon.com slash Booze Bros BS. <laughs> I love nice, that shit. Nice so much. <laughs> yes. A dollar, oh, dollar will help. Funny. A dollar will help. <laughs> Hungry motherfuckers in this I'm basement. I'm pretty sure my toenails would start the zombie apocalypse. I definitely have no problem complimenting Tate. Fuck eating anybody's toenails. You're, All right. Tate, you're fucking, fucking beautiful. Would you Randy would eat peanuts out of a girl's poop so we know he's beer bong kicks. toenails. There you go. <laughs> what is going on right now? Awesome. Hey, at least we don't have spook spook going on. So hey, we're fine. you know what? I would take spook right now. Over. Charlie's asking for the link. What's the link of Randy? It's hypothetical. <laughs> you oh, probably shit. couldn't hear me over here. Fuck Game no. over. <laughs> Get over here. I want you. www.patreon.com <laughs> 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 Are you okay, Jason? I I asked if you heard my "Would you rather." Yes, I want to hear it. No, I I just said it. Oh, sorry, there's way too much going on. Would you rather have dick-sized nipples or a nipple-sized dick? Mm. Ooh, Mm. fancy. Mm. Well, you know, most girls say the size doesn't matter, but we know better. That's a scenario where nobody wins either way. Yes. Fuck that. Dick yeah. Either nipple. you got a big old schlong and you got these dick-sized nipples that are slapping some chicks. You know, uh, you know okay, I get, I get to where you're going, Tate. But, you know, if you have, you know, <laughs> six-inch, you know, like, Japanese um, nipples, they're just like two girls <laughs> one time. You're gonna be like the world's greatest porn star. You're gonna be fucking yeah. people with no <laughs> Yes! You can fuck three yes. chicks at once. Oh, I win! 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 Josh, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you go the other way if you got a small dick? I mean, so girls gotta... basically already have nipple-sized dicks, so I'm going with that. 
Maybe you need to lay off the Asians. Uh, I mean, she's got a point. Girl, for girls? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> Nipple sized. Yeah, she's talking about her fucking... The clitoris. Clitoris. Yeah. Mm. Clitoris! Your nipples are the same size as your clitoris. You know, uh, I'm... I'm I'm a, I'm gonna like plug statement. like a favorite comedian of mine, um, Omar. That he says, uh, Bert Kreischer. I never met a titty I didn't like. So is that Ron White? What is that? No. It is Ron White. No, it's not. That's not Ron <laughs> White. Who is it? You're leaving us in suspense. Yes. Oh, Jesus. I I'm seeing if anybody can shit. get it. I'm not gonna get it. Um, it's terrible. Is it? He's been to the Steeple Theater a few times. Ooh. Ah, Rodney Carrington. Bingo, winner, oh, winner, chicken awesome. dinner. Oh, I Show heard you like me. Yeah. <laughs> White. No! <laughs> Sounds like Ron White. It does, but it's not. Dude, maybe I'll tell you. you I lay, listen. Oh, Dave said, maybe you need to lay off the Asians. They are the hardest working racial group in the world. <laughs> you don't know business. Have you been to Dahmer? How many lately? Asians have you met, Dave? Do you know they're the hardest working group in the world? I don't Dave, think so. Dave, did you give James a uh, would you rather? Oh, goddamn! There we go. We, we all have to do it. Yep. Apparently, it's a group thing. Pass. Pass. Yeah, Pass. <laughs> Pass. 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 Unlike you, Tate. You have no filter. Fans did it. Okay. Would you Warrior rather? What? Would you rather? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I got wing it. Would you freestyle. rather? Get shot or shoot your partner in Garda. I would shoot that motherfucker a thousand Thank times Josh. over because I got sixty <laughs> rounds all day. <laughs> oh my god. I hope you don't lose your job. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, would you rather oh, hey, well, I'm sorry. Would so you rather, rather throw up marbles every day? Marbles. Marbles. Like how big of marbles? Are we talking like the big marbles, Italian marbles? Like the shooters? Regular marbles? The... Regular yeah. marbles, but okay. I'm talking a gallon sized jug. Okay. Or sweat and cheese every day. No, oh, it's sweat cheese every day, man. It's no so problem. You sweat cheese? Yeah, it's like Swiss cheese. You're just going to sweat cheese? Cheese just comes out half of your pores. Half inch. Yeah. yeah. Half it's inch fine. of cheese every day just comes out of all your pores. Yeah, all over your it's body. fine. I mean, Throw I wish Acne would do that shit. Sweat so. cheese. It's fine. Sweat cheese. You know, do I get to pick the cheese? Oh, or is it a fucking predetermined cheese? It's predetermined. You can I'm fucking pick. I'm cheese, not sell it. I mean, it's like Swiss. Is can it like eat? fucking it, easy is cheese? Is the cheese disgusting? You know, like on crackers. Or can, or can, or can I eat cheese afterwards? You can sell marbles. Or you know. Up. Why not? Like, you just wash them off cheese, a little bit. and then you you rather hug a fluffy marble, cow? Marbles up. That's People buy cheese. You put that shit on the farmer's market. People are going to be buying your cheese? Just sweating it out. Fuck yeah. You got dick cheese, armpit cheese, <laughs> head cheese, <laughs> ash cheese. All sorts of cheese. Do you, sweat, cheese. do you sweat extra cheese if you like doing cheese exercise? Yeah, I never heard about cheese. Depends on what you eat the <laughs> night before. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows. You know, I have Mexican, man. They want to sweat some, cheese, huh? It could be some serious Mexican cheese tonight, you know? You only really throw up, okay, you only throw up <laughs> once a day. Very you sweat cheese all slowly all, all, all day long. <laughs> Oh, I love Gutierrez. Jeez, I love cheese. <laughs> okay, does that mean would Chris, you rather you have a, would you rather? I did, already. Oh, it's right? my turn. No, you wouldn't do no, that I shit. Did I did one, yeah. I don't remember it though. Everybody oh, it was it being on the show or being oh, talking yeah. shit? True story, true story. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. No, Cherry being said, on the show is awesome. Cherry said, would you rather hug a fluffy cow? Or pet a cute toad. A fluffy cow? I've never met a fluffy cow. What kind of? I don't hug? even know what you mean by that. Is it like a stuffed animal? Because I love stuffed animals. Have you met a cute toad? Mount. Met. Oh, I think you said Freedom! mount. <laughs> I was like, bro, we're going different places right now. <laughs> Fuck, Mary, kill. Wow, that's there we go. Wow, that was Maybe I shouldn't tag the band in this conversation. Black Lives Matter. Okay. Um, I, I didn't oh, know anybody no. was black. Uh, it's lies, not lives. Black it. Lies Just Matter. Don't, yeah, don't I read it. it. Lies. Don't repeat it. Um, Buildings like mountains. Yes, they're great. We love them. Yeah. You know what, David? I was going to 
gonna say I had heard one of your songs off your new album, and I only have one thing to say to you, bro. You need more cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> you need more cowbell. So I, when I was watching last week and Dave was on, I was watching at the moment where everybody was complimenting his album, which I've never listened to, uh, and my impulse was to say. My, my, my impulse was to comment saying it fucking sucks um, but I was like damn David's alright he's not that bad of a guy no, I mean he's not good. great but when you start insulting somebody's like art that could be a personal <laughs> note uh, yeah and so I was like man maybe that's the Tate hate I don't want to give yeah that's but then the I think about David and how much of a fucking douche he is every week <laughs> and I'm like maybe he needs to be taking that or not too but you uh, know he loves you every single time you guys see each other face to face. That's true. Uh, he just you really need to it. listen to the album. He I, yeah, I've not heard it, but I just wanted to say it fucking sucks. He just plays uh, in the wait, fuck wait, with you. All the people on the show who bought it. I didn't buy it, but I already do we social networking. I pirated so I have, it on the internet. All I know is hashtag fuck the artist. Right I'm not giving I mean, I've, money. I've listened to it on. Apple Music because I pay for Apple Music. <laughs> My impulse is to throat punch you every time I see you. It's called being an adult. <laughs> there you go. He's not lying. You piece of shit, Gavin. God damn it. You don't even pronounce his name wait, right. Wait, wait, it's fucking awesome. But what else is new about Braden that? Braden loses. <laughs> I still recommend the actual album because you get the lyrics with it and it means so much more to know what the fuck he's talking about. So, Julie... It's incredible. People don't even know. God, Julie. Well, can I pirate it on the internet? I don't want to pay for it. I don't pay for music. It's just my rule. That's fucked up. So you fuck the artist. Burn. <laughs> the artist. <laughs> <laughs> right next to you, Chris. It's on right Spotify next to you. for free. <laughs> B Cherry yep, says it's on Spotify for free. Where's it coming free. from? <laughs> oh, free. Long way. Uh, long way. It's a long way. <laughs> a long way. <laughs> so that long way is not coming by. And by I love you, I mean you're my plan B. I kept, I, oh, oh, she didn't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. I'm a plan B. All right, are we doing more of these uh, questions or? If whatever you want to do, Jason, bring it. All right. You can't just uh, listen to Spotify, dude. You we'll don't start off easy. It. Would you rather eat a pound of butter or a pound of mayonnaise? Butter in a heartbeat. Really? Even though I like mayonnaise, hold on, I'll deal with butter. Let's pause real quick. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, so it says this. Charles, I was typing this up while y'all were still talking about cheese. I had a question for Tate the Great. First of his name. Jesus. What beer pairs best with a burger from Salina Local Cozy Boys? Boygas. Uh, Charlie always <laughs> chimes in with a with a pairing recommendation. Boy, yes. The first time it was spaghetti, <laughs> the second time was it was lasagna. He has not x wrong yet though. And now it's with the cozy cozy uh, cozy Boy, and burgers. Boy, yeah. uh, for a cozy burger, Boy, yeah. you don't want that's, that, you don't want to fuck with that because you got the onions. You got you that. Know, what? Go Did you say just don't go to cozies? No, I said you don't want to oh. fuck with. With, like, fucking a burger up. Just do regular oh. beer. Yeah, regular okay. beer. Like Re Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, whatever you well, want. Yeah, you just do a regular beer. Trash you don't regular fucking trash food. But God, for God's sake, do not put it in your car. <laughs> Change your shirt after you eat it. Fuck it. Throw the shirt Drink in the trash. Drink a hibiscus gosa with your <laughs> cozy burger. So, Josh Cook. Or, um, or Grandma Coat, Matt. I would go with mayo <laughs> with Jason's question, but I don't like that white stuff around my mouth. You know what I'm saying? I would pair a gram of meth with those <laughs> burgers. <laughs> That's about right. When you come down. You'll eat about 35 of them motherfuckers. You won't even know what happened. And then you'll eat a gallon of mayo. <laughs> yeah. Then you'll be calling That's up what's fucking gonna what's his name like, Hey, how'd you like them cozy burgers? Great after that meth chick got off me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Do not hey, put that which, in your what car. What would be the best pairing for a cozy burger? Cozy burgers, just straight up, just well any kind of regular a pair beer. Of sand goggles. 
regular kind I'm of beer. Say tank seven. I think a tank seven would go perfect. Oh, beautiful. Burger. Joshua Rose from um, South Louisiana Craft Beer Club. Tate when he's in full uniform. And he posts Mortal oh, Kombat, yeah. Raiden, Imperial Saison. Whoa. Don't wear your shoes running around town and match it in your <laughs> That's how locals eat it. He's got the fucking Raiden hat going on. I oh. think the nameplate's out gotcha. Because no other right, The next you softball yeah. question. Would you rather live without music or live without TV? TV. 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 I do it all day. Would you rather? Yeah, I'd live yeah. without music. TV all day. TV. Music's okay. fun. Yeah. I love music. All right. Music keeps me humble. We're going to get into uh, a bit of a harder uh, section. Oh, don't Would threaten me. Fuck the most hideous person in the world or the most beautiful corpse ever. Dude. That's Hold obvious. On. That's an obvious. Before. Especially for Tate. Corpse. Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Before this full answer from everybody, thank you, Charlie, for donating to our Patreon. You were the first one. Oh shit, yeah. To support the show, like fuck yeah, Charlie. Yeah, congrats, bro. Thank you. T-shirts, merch, stuff like that. Like that's Cheers fucking you, awesome. Man. Cheers. Charlie's okay. Fuck, I don't have a beer. Well, he's whooped my ass in gym before, and he's supporting the show. I'm getting one. I mean, he's all right. Good dude. Thank you, Charlie. How old is this corpse? Yes, I agree. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good point. A beautiful and fresh corpse. <coughs> fresh corpse. Why are we talking like? Wait, 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 wait. Still warm. Are we talking warm. like they're an organ donor? I'm not answering this question. Uh -oh. Or donating to an organ every day. <laughs> you know, I mean, how fresh are we talking about? But like, they have they been on ice for a while? <coughs> no. It kind of preserves the fucking no, warm. No, no. Still uh, warm. Under an hour. Under an hour. So, under an hour. you know, the bad thing is about that is <laughs> that I actually know somebody who actually works in that line of field of organ donors. And the fact that <laughs> she has to harvest them within that hour. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a hard question. I have a friend who's an embalmer. Oh, the the. You brought me the happy. Time. I guess the swaying point would be, also if you fuck the hideously ugly person, they're going to tell everyone. Where if you fuck the corpse, they still they still tell no one. That's you know what? That bitch Nobody gives a shit. shit so. I was like, she's lying. She yeah. is lying. I'd lie too if I was that ugly. Hey, have you been to the strip <laughs> club in Salina lately? Yeah, fuck that place. Is it like fucking a corpse? <laughs> it might as well be. <laughs> or if you want to get high for free, you know, what is. And let's just be nasty. Wow, this is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stormy Daniels was up in that place. Yeah. She's so, a classy lady. Bitch is be nasty. <laughs> She's a classy lady. Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump what? She go, go fuck Trump. yourself, bro. She fucked Trump. For she money. She should upgrade her standards. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, I'm surprised how many of you said corpse. But, I uh, I'm going the opposite way. No, Chris is not. Chris is like the what? ugly guy. Or ugly chick, What was sorry. the question? <laughs> what was the question? Damn. Would you rather fuck the most hideous person ever? See, you said uh, person. But they tell everyone, or you fuck the most beautiful, fresh corpse. Uh, tell everyone. Fuck it. I'll fuck the ugliest person. Tell everyone. Ain't nobody gonna believe her. They'll be like, you're ugly, bitch. Here's the poor again, by the way, guys. Just so I'll great. your standards. It's so, He's the it's president. so good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll great your standards. He's the president. <laughs> to what, baby the Jesus? The Beer Association, that's what. All right. <clears throat> now, the last one is the hardest one. Oh, oh God. On this shit. It is going to be absolutely oh, terrible. I'm on. so sorry to Such. everyone who has to hear this question. Ooh. Would you rather fuck your mom and your wife's body, or your partner's body, or your wife and your partner's body? How much drugs have you took tonight? None. I drank show. like eight beers, though. No, no, no. No alcohol. I don't understand the question. Like, seriously, have you been snorting some shit to come up with no. this stuff? I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> well, 
Well, you know, there's ways to work that. What was the second Jason? half of the question? <laughs> All right, Tate. So it's, would you rather fuck your mom? This is for you, Tate. Would you rather fuck your mom in your wife's yeah. body or your He's wife in your mom's yeah. body? You said partner. I said that because other people on the show are not married. Oh, okay. Well, stop jazzing it up. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> <Christ>. David. <laughs> well, your wife and your partner's, partner's body? Freud and Slip? You I got a mistress. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with no on all oh, the above shit. counts. Neither. <laughs> we'll never ask Jason to would you rather again. Yeah. You, you're fired, bro. <laughs> I told you it was going to get progressively harder. No, no, no. It's not progressively harder. Progressively weirder? Yes. Yeah, that's true. Really? Hey, Option C? Whoa, whoa. Do I have to be concerned about whether or not just I'm happy or both partners are happy or am I just able to, like, put out deuces and bounce? Because, I mean, that makes a difference. Be like, all right, I'm out of here. That was it. That was good for me. <laughs> fucking Christ. Apparently fucking gargantuans are at least upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm angry. Mongo hungry. <laughs> you know what, Tate? I appreciate all oh people my. that you are the only person who's actually humoring this question. You're like, you know what? What are the logistics of this? Rather than like, fuck you for asking the question. <laughs> I'm so I weird about the question's happening right now. I don't even want to answer. I'm not. I don't. Well, I'm just taking pictures <laughs> of the these beers like they're skyscrapers in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Like he's parachuting out of a plane, and these are the buildings in New York. <laughs> Aerial view. Yeah, Chicago. Like Derek. Derek. We're in an airplane. I We're coming through. Like All right. On a complete no, no, side no. note, that has side nothing note, to do side with note. this at all. Did you guys see the new trailer for Final Fantasy VII? Yes. No, I didn't. I heard it's good. It looks fucking incredible. It does. We're playing with Chewy. Oh, that explains it. Okay. It looks so good. His favorite also, game is called Chewy. I believe we said we would give until oh, this yeah. week to talk about John Wick 3. Which I haven't seen. My bad. I haven't seen it yet. It hasn't been two weeks. But, we can't talk about it yet. But. Two weeks? I haven't even seen Endgame yet. But I've what? seen. What? Oh. I've seen enough spoilers <clears throat> to understand the film we'll still watch it but as <coughs> as an older guy this. my bladder says no on three hours in a movie theater I had to take a piss during it too but it wasn't too bad I can't do it, it. wasn't so bad I can't do it I watched Captain Marvel before it came out and it was like 215 and I only had just like one drink you know I hadn't had a whole lot of fucking beverages before I went in there and by the time that 2.15 was up or so, it was like, bladder infection might be happening. Nobody knows. So, I'm just going <laughs> to wait till it comes out and watch it. And I'll watch it again. And I'll watch it again. And I'll watch it again. Just like I did Infinity Wars. So, um, I think it's going to be great. I think John Wick 3 is going to be also great. I love the fact that he's going to be in... Uh, uh, a, a video game on top of it. Um, he's one of my favorite people on earth, if you will. Um, he's he's a really cool dude in real yeah, life. That, seriously, the dude rides the bus still. I mean, that's pretty cool. He through motorcycles. He donates a shitload of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, excited about it, what? but... I haven't watched it, but you all can talk about it if you all watched it. No spoilers are gonna fucking <laughs> deter me. I don't go to the movie theater anymore. I love that shower curtain. You know what that shower curtain reminds me of? Oh, this is going what, on the screen. Three, four episodes ago, oh, when Jason fuck. was up above us. So we'll try to guys, get the actual the name laser out eyes of it. Is like, but, oh, but that's what that reminds me of. So it says, got a new shower curtain, and it's the fucking cat. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to try and find one of those and replace them. <laughs> I'm just scared of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Get a reaction. Be, 
epic. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Right. My last question of the night to all of you. Ooh, what song do you want played at your funeral? Thug Mansion. The acoustic version featuring Nas. Gangster Paradise, but with Weird Al Yankovic. So Amish Paradise. <laughs> It's already planned out. My little brother has the the reckoning. He he knows the entire playlist of my funeral already. Is that weird? A little bit. <laughs> uh, Get your shit out of here! Oh, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Neff. It's fine. Chris, you lost and thought about it. I'm waiting for Chris here. So, yeah, so <laughs> I, I literally have my whole funeral planned out, um, and my little brother is in charge of it. And it will be Thug Mansion that plays at my funeral, the acoustic version with Nos. It's just a great song. I mean, I've, I've jammed to that fucking song since I was in. Eighth grade. I couldn't I have it. I know play. one of them will be Crossroads by Bone Thugs, but I can't say that'll be the one. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't thought about this much. Newman! Hola! I, I can Andrew feel Black. that. What's up, Chelsea? I can feel that, Chris. So, in my will, my wife and daughter have to play through all of the games I own, all of my video games. <laughs> yeah, my Chelsea. Steam library and my fucking actual physical video game library in order to actually get anything from my will. Uh, but, on a separate note, I want to say one of my kind by Connor Overs is the song that we played, but I personally want to say Future's Number 9 by Mindless Self-Indulgence. I hate you, Newman. I hate you so much because... End All right, road. So, <laughs> so there's a joke about the end of the road. Oh, shit. I fucking... All right, so me, Newman, and both Keylocks, uh, Chris and me, used to call people, and I'm, I, it probably will play at his, in, like his funeral, but we used to sing end of the road to motherfuckers' voicemails that didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> And we did that shit. We killed it in four part harmony. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got it. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. Like, we would get every single part of the four part harmony and kill that song. But I honestly do not doubt that shit will play at Newman's funeral. And I will walk up on stage when they talk about your memories that you had with somebody and I'll be like, yeah man, Anthony he was a great guy I loved him, he was one of my favorite people of all time but can I also say that uh, he's related to Terrence Newman and then just walk off of the fucking stage because <laughs> that's me and his relationship I love him that much he hates me so answer? much because I do that shit so much <laughs> mine? uh I'm a pretty simple guy. I have a couple, though, simple man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got to be the new version, not the old version. Oh, the uh, Shinedown? Shinedown oh, version. Shinedown, okay. Shinedown version, I actually played it at my dad's funeral. And it was like the last song that we played for my dad's funeral. And uh, it's just one of those songs that just hits home. Mm -hmm. And the other one would be He's Mine by Rodney Atkins. To the country, but um, just a great song of uh, being a boy with his dad kind mm -hmm. of thing, mm -hmm. and uh, that's just kind of my mantra. Other than that, it would be like fucking like fucking Metallica, you know, whatever. Metallica. But you know, we go a lot of different roads there. But yeah, I don't have a great yeah. answer for that. I, th I haven't thought about that that much. I haven't either. I, I don't either. And, you know, unfortunately, I'm like a, almost a decade older than you guys. So that's what I just know. At least. At least. If you wouldn't have said that, I wouldn't have known. 
Dino! Instead, I'm gonna have it <coughs> sitting on the dock of the bay. <coughs> sitting on the dock of the bay! <laughs> I just remember yeah. the Louis C.K. sketch where he's like, I watch a comedian, and all he kept singing was, Sitting on a cock because I'm gay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, Newman. Nah, and that's exactly who Newman is. We used to sing that jam all the fucking time. Him and the Roots. Woo! The Roots. Dude, the Roots are so good. I love them. Black Thought is top three for me, lyrically. Mm hmm. Like, he's disgustingly good. And nobody talks about him. Does anybody else get Chris, I miss it? what you said. You came through so quiet. What? I said I missed what you just said. You came through so quiet. Oh, I said the roots are legit, and everybody sleeps, oh, yeah. on, sleeps on Black Thought. Their lead, whatever you want to call him, singer, rapper. His independent shit is unreal, dude. He's top three lyricists for me of like all time. Black Thought is fucking phenomenal. Oh, wait. Who's one of the other top three? Mm -hmm. uh, as far as lyricists of all time? Right. I did not pour anything in. Is it Dylon, Dylon, Dylon? Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. It's Will Smith. Uh, uh, with Getting Jiggy With It. What's his name out of Oregon? Nah, 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 nah. Aesop Rock. <laughs> Aesop Rock. Definitely top one or two. If uh, He's top three easily. The other one would probably be M. See, I like Dicky. Oh, God. You would. I, no, 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 no. You guys have the same personality, though. But this is what I think about Dicky. Like, he gets looked mm. at as, like, a, a joke rapper. And it, he, he's so and playful. He put, and he put, but he is. But that's the whole point. And like that's his brand. He puts out the playful thing, but he has the song. Uh, and I, uh, you can put me the on the Earth spot one, or? No, not the Earth one. The Earth one's hilarious, Jesus though. <laughs> but... He's, he sits it's there and he camera. talks about it and he says, uh, like he walks in and they're like, oh no yeah, he's the, he's the Joker rapper. Like, he's not for real. Like, just, just nonchalant. That's all he does witty. is joke and wit. Yeah. And he's like, oh fuck, that's all you see me as? And then he just comes <laughs> out and fucking <laughs> pow. I just don't like his, his, like, first I went over here and then I was like this and then I was like that. And I'm like, that's very like early '90s style, but mm -hmm. he's making it like it's nothing, and almost like disrespectful sometimes. Like he's just like, "Oh yeah, this shit's easy. Fuck y'all." Da, 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 da. No, I can see that, but like, it's also to the point where he's a Jewish. <laughs> Don't you fucking judge Freaky Friday, Julie? <laughs> uh, he's a oh, Jewish yeah, white rapper, and he came mm -hmm. out with a song called "Save That Money." And he literally walked up to millionaires' houses and asked them. Oh, shit. I didn't realize he was doing this. <laughs> but he walked up to millionaires' houses and asked Just them if play, he could man. use Nobody cares. their house and their cars for a music video because he didn't have a lot of money and he wanted to save as much as he could. And they let him do it. There you go. That's a convincing young man. Like, that shit kills me. So, a lot of it's asking and just taking rejection. Yeah, no, people yeah. are going to say yes. I mean, it's the same. It's like this beer show. We need to do that and ask for sponsors. And yeah. Go it, through 200 you know requests and, and we get you know, 16 that say yeah. And you know what? You have my veteran backing. So, veterans out there, U.S. Navy, U.S. Marines, U.S. Army, U.S. Air Force, this show is the shit. Sanctioned. So, y'all fucking come aboard. I think I'll fucking post this link to all my old Navy buddies say, and get that I think that's going. a cheers worth. I think that's an in the episode worth speech right there. Y'all okay. fucking support these dudes. They do it hard. They do it right. They do it like we used to do back in Bali. And if all y'all are old enough to know that, you know what I'm talking about. So, thanks, thanks for being on. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Thanks, sir.
Party night. time. Yes. Hey, so, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Peace.